when you stand on a beach or the cliff and you've just got land and ocean and it's open, there's no barriers, everything just comes together and it's just completely breathtaking. There is so much about the coastline that is stunning. A big piece of the land will suddenly change overnight due to the dramatic power of the sea. It can bring in different things washed up on that tide line. We have people that are individually doing their own small beach cleans from the easily accessible beaches. But some of the places that we find, we've got rocks to get over, we've got great big verges to drive through, and it's a real struggle to try and find any vehicle that will be able to get down there. My dad and I started Beach Guardian as a sort of hub. We want to encourage community, people working together, people coming together. Not until you're down in the sand and allowing the grains of sand to slip through your fingers that you're left with a handful of plastics. The big bottles and the bigger items are now breaking down into these smaller pieces that are washing up on our beaches. We noticed the nets about two years ago. They're completely buried in tons of sand. Sometimes these nets can be in the sand for years. You can't easily get those items off the beach. The problem is a global problem. Every beach everywhere in the world is having plastics washed up on it and people in their communities are coming up with solutions. The response we've had so far is so inspiring that it just makes me so excited for the future to see what Beach Guardian can do and the difference that we can make. <laughs>